Hello guys and dolls, welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today, we're at Form Next. So this is Form Next 2022. Uh, there are some amazing manufacturers here with loads of cool new tech and loads of fun things to look at and touch. So we are gonna take a look around, do some interviews and show you some of the massively cool stuff that is coming in the next year. Hi guys and dolls, I'm over at Part Box with Conrad. So this is so cool. So for a start, it looks like a Borg cube. I love that. And then you open this bad boy up and inside is an absolutely gorgeous looking 3D printer. So we have linear rails, we have direct drive, we've got auto bed leveling, auto park calling, but what they're selling here isn't the printer. They're selling the dream. Oh, that was so good. I liked that bit. Right. So, Comrade, talk to me a little bit about the service that you guys are providing. Exactly. So, we have a complete system for decentralized production. This means that with Partbox, you can start tomorrow and produce uh, parts directly at your customers if you want to. It means uh, if your customer needs one of the spare parts, like this one example, you don't have to produce it in your office anymore and ship it over the world and you send it to customers everything. You just produce it directly where it's needed, when it's needed. So, your customer's part breaks. They scan the code, they go into the app, the part is printed, it's shipped straight to them, and your customer is very happy, gets the part super quickly. Exactly, and then, because it's printed directly where you need it. Exactly. So, right, right. Uh, so you've got like in-region support in loads of different countries for them to be able to just print it wherever's closest to them, is that right? No, they install it directly where they are. So they install right. the part box directly right. in their company. Right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they have the part box on site. Exactly. And they the, scan it. And it's the most decentralized production. Right, I get you. So, so your customer has this on site in their office. They scan the part, the part then prints, but you get the payment platform. So you're still being paid for printing the part, but this, is in there is in their office so they get immediate access to the part there's no logistics involved with shipping any of the parts out but you still get the revenue from the part so what do you do from a maintenance perspective and things like that like if the machine breaks down or it clogs is that the person who owns the machine coming in to fix it or is that you guys how does that work so with part box we have created a paper use model we can pay print, uh, printing hours, so you can buy the manufacturing uh, time from us, yep. and everything is included. So it's the printer, the materials included, software is included, and service as well. Amazing. So in case uh, there should be anything, we just replace the printer. So it's very easy to use for the customer. Fantastic. And I'm assuming multiple materials. I mean, this machine looks very capable. Um, so what kind of materials can you print with this? We focus on one material. Right. So it's just a PA6 in nylon that we're printing. So it's all nylon prints. Exactly. That's <laughs> cool. All nylon prints, just yeah. all the best material that you can yeah. print with, just all the time, just sitting in your office, just waiting for you to break stuff. Yeah. And then you scan it, and then you literally get another one. And you just pay for the part that you broke. Exactly. That's awesome. Thank you so much for showing me this. It's really cool. Thank you very Thank much. You. Catch you on the next one, guys. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, guys and dolls, so we're over at the W2P booth with Simon, and we are talking DLP printers. So for those who aren't aware, most resin printers that you use at home are MSLA or LCD printers. These are a different animal. So these have a giant projector underneath that projects up the light source. Talk to me about some of the benefits of DLP over traditional MSLA and LCD printers. So the DLP printer uh, are now more or less like standard technique production for medical devices like hearing aid in Austria or in Europe I guess 99% are produced with DLP printer because they are fast have a good surface quality and you can exchange quite fast the materials if you have a laser from top down you have a big path and you have to exchange the material it takes a lot of time and here you have only the wet with little resin you can change quite fast yeah and the printing speed is maybe the most important thing and what we are doing is moving TLP this means we're not only having so this is the smaller printer it has only one TLP static yeah but here we have a TLP which can move two different uh, positions 
Right, so okay. So means you're... we are having small pixels yes. still, but expanding the area we can work on. So one of the big issues that DLP sometimes suffers with is that ultimately the larger you project, the lower resolution that you get. What we're saying here is that these are actually moving the projector. So we're retaining that really high density pixel, that really high quality, that ultra HD quality, but you're still getting the benefit of a much larger area because you're no longer worried about um, you're no longer worried about having about sort of spreading out your pixels too thin. You keep that you keep that really tight focus beam. Completely correct. So what kind of microns do these go down to then? So here we have 50 microns. So yep. it's always like the number 250 means like yep. two fields, 50 yep. microns, 163, so 63 microns. Yeah. Three fields and 70 yep. microns. Yeah, so that is correct. literally that is moving the that is moving that whole DLP projector. It's into moving th to three stations. Into three separate zones. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, that's really cool. So obviously you said these are mainly for dental applications, but what are the price points on some of these machines? We start here with around 10,000 euros and go right. up. Um, this is roughly 20,000 and this is something good. So these are all really focused at dentistry, yeah. industrial, professional Everyday users production. who are, yeah. but as well, and I'm probably going to get this wrong. When it comes to LCD machines, the monochrome screens that they use have normally only got about 2,000 hours in the screen before you have to replace it. The screen is seen as a renewable part, ultimately. But when it comes to DLP, the projectors are like 20,000 hours or something until yeah. they need to be replaced. So they're really low maintenance from that perspective as well, right? Yeah, that's true. And also the, the time for curing is much shorter. As we have print out that they are running six years every day in the hearing aid industry. Yeah. Um, and we are typically having an illumination time of one to two seconds. So it's wow. quite fast. Yeah. And this is the advantage over the LCD where you typically block a lot of energy in the screen. Therefore, the screen is wearing faster uh, and you need longer time for curing the layer. And here we go in with up to 40 milliwatt per square centimeter high energy and can cure less than a second one layer and then it's quite fast as well. Perfect. All right. Thanks very much for taking the time with us. <laughs> no problem. Catch you on the next one, guys. Bye. Hello, guys and dolls. We are at the Chromatic 3D Materials booth. And what we have here is something that I need to give you some context for before I can show you what it is. So, we are talk so we've got here a two-part polyurethane material it is being combined into the extruder as a two-part and it is a flexible material being printed onto a hat so this is a flexible material a two-part flexible material being combined printed onto a flexible and non-flat hat like flexible surface so the the applications for this are huge um, not just in the hat world, which I should imagine this would be groundbreaking in, but also inside of complex engineering. And when you're dealing with complex gaskets and different geometries, things that you can't normally vacuum form or do other things with. Chromatic do custom as well as a large wealth of different 3D printing materials. This is one of their very specialized hat machines, which I assume probably has other stuff other than hats. It could probably do shorts, maybe shoes, socks, I would imagine it could probably do something flat, <laughs> but, but we'll show you the video now of what it's doing. But bear in mind, this is a, this is a combined two-part flexible material being printed onto another flexible material, and it not only adheres, but it bonds and it works. So... On top is that. Oh, is that? Oh, okay. So what you end up with as a result is something like this a 3D printed flexible polymer onto a completely flexible surface that it has printed, adhered to and bond with in real time. So let's take a look at it in action.
That's it. Perfect. That's quick. Yeah. Right.